here. All right, so again, I'd like to welcome everybody to our banquet. I hope everybody's enjoying yourself so far. Uh, we've had a lot happening tonight with demonstrations, kids running around, having a good time. You guys having fun? Yeah! In the end, that's really all that matters. I'm glad you guys are enjoying yourselves. Now, the awards banquet is, is much, much bigger than awards. That's why I really don't like calling it the awards banquet. It's, it's our banquet. This is our opportunity to look back at the entire year of 2015, which was a very, very big year for Lion Force. First off, we moved into our new location, right yes. on Newland Avenue. It's parking. I know, everybody's enjoying the parking, I know. Yeah, parking for everyone. We had a huge turnout for our 2015 beach workout down in Ocean City. Everybody that went had a great time, and again, we showed a very strong presence in the entire association. Not to mention, bringing up strong presence, our 2015 Pilsong tournament, going out there having far more competitors than anyone else in the association. For that, I thank you guys. Yep. Who remembers the Halloween party? With Mr. Fantasy. Yeah? Had a great time at the Halloween party. Lots to look back at. But the exciting part is, we have a lot to look forward to as well. Moving forward in 2016, we are bigger than ever. We have more planned for you guys, more happening. But the reason why we've gotten bigger, again, and I say this every single year, is because of you guys. Every time I go around, everybody that I speak to, and I hear it, I was talking about you guys. I was saying how wonderful Lion Force was. That is the greatest compliment that anybody can give me, my family, anybody else in this room, is just talking about it. And that's how we got as big as we are now. Right? From people talking about the wonderful things that we do here at Lion Force, talking about the changes that we make in the children. And to do that, with you spreading the word, gives us an opportunity to impact more people, to impact more lives in a positive way working with more children, installing focus and discipline and respect and putting them on the path to be a black belt and a better person. I wouldn't be able to do that if it wasn't for every single person in this room saying the positive things you guys do on the daily. So again, for that, I thank you very, very much. Give yourself a hand, good job. Now this is definitely the absolute hardest part of the year for me. Everybody knows how much I care about everyone. And I can honestly give every single person here an award for something special that they do. I truly believe that every student that we have shines very, very bright in their own way. And I am proud of every single one of you. We have a few awards that we are gonna be handing out for some students for just special recognition for some things that we see students going a little above and beyond. And then of course at the end of the year we have our Lions of the Year Awards. So without dragging anything on anymore, I'm gonna get forward to the first award that we have for tonight. The first award that we have for tonight is a Future Black Belt Award. Now, every once in a while we see students coming through the ranks and you can tell from very early on that they are gonna make an incredible black belt. They're the students who come in and you don't need to tell them to focus. You can look at them and I always point to them and say, sit like them, answer like them, work hard like that person. I tell the kids all the time, 360 back kick, may not be able to do it like a black belt. A 360 roundhouse kick, may not be able to do it like a black belt. But you know what? You can sit like a black belt, can't you? Absolutely, Gianna. And then look, everybody else is down with the black belt. Love it. <laughs> you can answer like a black belt. You can move like a black belt. And we see some students that come through the ranks that have that right off the bat. They're a black belt on the inside right from the get-go. So, first person I would like to bring up for the future black belt award, Finn Dunn.
second person that we have, unfortunately, was not able to make it today, but I do want to give him a round of applause. We'll be receiving it in class. Was to Jake Kelly. Let's give him a hand. Good job. Let's give Finn a hand, good job. Up, Next award that's gonna go out tonight is our Focus Award. Now, in my basic class, that is the absolute first thing that we touch on. Because if you don't focus, can you learn? No! Not at all. In order to focus, you gotta keep your eyes, mind, and on me, which is very, very important. They're well trained. <laughs> very, very important. Now, if you see the student who's focusing the best, you see them progressing a little faster. You see their techniques getting a little crisper because there's nothing that I say that they miss. So this first award is gonna go out to Ryan Konjak. Gonna go out to Lexi the Terminator. Let's give them a hand. Good job. Now, as training goes on, things start to get a little bit tougher. Anybody that's in my Red Bull class can attest to that. Things get a little harder, things get a little tougher. Sometimes they will just start out and say, just do jumping jacks until I say stop. And then I leave the room. So, and you keep going. Classes do get a lot more challenging. In order to get past that, you need to have something that's very, very important. That's called perseverance. Perseverance is never giving up never stopping, never quitting, until you get your goal, until you achieve what it is that you set out to get. Now, maybe that's a black belt. Maybe that's getting to your next rank. Maybe that's being in school and you're having a hard time with a math problem. Do you break your pencil and throw it away and say, you know what, I don't need numbers? No. You try it again and again, and you don't give up until you get it. Now, this next award is a Perseverance Award. It's going out to a student who I see dig deep all the time. Constantly making that karate face that I love. Kicking hard, when you're getting tired, key upping louder, not making the excuse, pushing through. And along with that, making tremendous pop progress. Perseverance Award this year goes to Michael Boyd. <laughs> Michael, hang the job. Hey Thompson, find a seat. The next award is one that we give out every year, and it's our most improved award. Now this award is one of my favorites. Because when I started, trust me, my mother would tell you plenty of times, I was not the all-star. I was the special student in class that had a hard time, was not wonderful. When people tell me, you know, somebody were to say, oh, he's gonna have a karate school one day, they're gonna say, you're nuts. But I improved, I didn't give up. What it taught me was a great work ethic. No, I didn't get things as fast as everybody else. But you know what? If I had to do it three times as, three times as many, in order to get the same thing, that's fine. It taught me a great work ethic, to keep going, to keep pushing. Like I said, if somebody had to do something twice and they got it, great. Maybe I had to do it 100 times, that's fine, but I was still gonna get it. 
That's why I like seeing students who make that progress, who put that extra effort in, who stay focused. When I call your name, I want you to come to the front because you'll be receiving the 2016 Most Improved Award. Owen Birmingham. <laughs> like a ninja. Next award for most improved, Simone Cruzy. Let's give them a hang of job. It's very easier when he couldn't crawl. And for most improved, also went to a student of mine who was a special, a special needs student that I had worked with for over a year. Uh, a lot of you guys might know him. He actually just recently had transferred into our basic training class and has made tremendous progress. Right? His name is Sai. He's a yellow belt. And he started with me over a year ago, and the progress that he has made has been incredible. And he has shown me that he really is a true martial artist. And the steps that he's taken are fantastic. So I want everybody to give a big hand for him, please. Stay away from the girls. <laughs> the next award that we're going to go into is our Determination Award. Now, determination is something that is very, very important being a martial artist. Determination is not giving up, pushing through. It's a mixture of focus. It's a mixture of achieving your goals. Never stopping, never quitting. Keep moving forward. And willing, and this is the most important part, willing to do whatever it is that you need to do to get the job done. Just like I'm sure all the parents, right? You guys all have jobs. You may not want to get up early in the morning, but you do, because you do what you need to do. Students, some of you may not like push-ups. Some of you are a little crazy like me, and you do like push-ups. But you do them, because you need to. I know something you need to do right now. The Determination Award this year is gonna be going to three students. Three students who I have seen push through from sweat, tears, and won't stop until they get what they have earned. First one, Jaden Gloucester. Next one's gonna go to Ryan Metzler.
And we had one more that was going to go out for tonight. Uh, was to Chase Lagnus. And again, was unable to make it tonight, but I want everybody to give a big hand to him. Thank you. Let's give him a big hand, guys. Good job. artists, we're taught never to give up, never to quit, never to stop, keep moving, keep going forward no matter what. Now, sometimes that's pushing through, you get a lot of homework, but you find a way to get the homework done and get to karate. We have some students that have reached incredible odds, incredible challenges, and never once wavered. Never once thought, okay, maybe getting a black belt isn't for me. We have some students here that have reached incredible odds and have beaten them and came back even stronger. Where I know 90% of people would have quit, these people decided to stay. They decided to keep moving forward. They decided to keep pushing. They decided that not achieving their goal of being a black belt wasn't an option for them. And that is an incredible quality of a martial artist that honestly, I can't teach. That's something that's inside of you. We have our first student coming up. He's gonna be testing for their black belt in June. Now some of you guys may know this, some of you may not, but she had gotten injured and was out for six months. Did not stop her. She took her time, she came back in full force pushing through and looking even better than ever. When I call your name, please come to the front and receive your reward for outstanding, indomitable spirit. Jacqueline Cucolino. We should have used Duracell. <laughs> I think that microphone got battery. Hello? All right, we're back in action here. Thank now, you. Now, back to what we were saying. This indomitable spirit word, again, is very important. Now, like we talked about, Ms. Cucolino spent a little bit of time out, but it didn't stop her. And one thing that I want every single person here sitting down and listening to this, understand, look at that perseverance, indomitable spirit. She didn't let that stop her from achieving her goals. Are you guys going to let anything stop you from achieving your black belt? No! It looks like we had a lot of future black belts on our way. And we have one more student that has overcome incredible odds, has overcome adversity. This student also, just like Ms. Cucolino, was injured and had an injury that had stopped her from training for a little while. But let me ask you a question. Do you think that stopped them? No, sir. They are martial artists. So they kept pushing, and they came back. And they're coming back stronger and stronger and stronger. When one area of you is hurt, the other areas get stronger now. When I call your name, it's, don't answer yes, sir. You can just come to the front. <laughs> Megan Cruzy. Thank you. 
Let's give them a hand, good job. The blue and the red, they look like the union. Now we've reached the end of the ceremony here. The last award that we're going to be giving out tonight is going to be our Lions of the Year Award. The Lions of the Year Award is the student who we feel goes above and beyond. The student who we look at and want to model the entire school off of qualities and things that they have done. Now, each student, as they become a Lion of the Year, awards it to the next student. Now, unfortunately, Bart and Wanda, they moved. They are doing well. I did hear from them. They were asking about, it, about the school. Uh, but our year before Lions of the Year were Miss Nikki and Miss Adam, so they will be presenting the awards for Lions of the Year for this year. And then this year, the recipients will be uh, the ones who will be giving the awards next year. Now, the first candidate that's going to be coming up is somebody who's trained with me for a very, very long time. This student, when I initially was at Top Gun, and I talked to them and said that I was moving over and I was going to be starting my own karate school, which nobody knew it was going to grow into this. Nobody. I mean, I can tell you up and down that it's going to be great and that I've got the best interest in you, but nobody knew. These people did not waver. They jumped on and were actually the absolute first student to sign up for Lion Force. Now, this person has pushed through, worked hard. Anytime I ask them to do something, yes sir. I look at them in class, I don't need to tell them, focus, pay attention. The words work harder are never directed to this person because they know what they want. They want to achieve a black belt and they're not gonna stop. And they were willing to do anything they need to to get there. When I call your name, come to the front, please. She has a lot of names. Yeah. Brenda, Lindros, Barbara, Baz. Now, in the Lions of the Year, there are two recipients who are going to be receiving this award for tonight. The next award is going to go to a student who has always had my back. Whenever I needed them, they're there. No questions asked. Willing to do anything for the school. They interact with the kids. They're part of our storm team. Working with everybody, spending their time working with the other kids. If I call and ask, they come. They help out. They're there. Somebody who I don't need to say, focus. Pay attention. Somebody who I don't have to say, again, I need you to work harder. Can you give me more? No. This student also was put in a position where they received injuries. But let me ask you this again. Do you think that stopped them? No, sir. They kept moving forward. They kept going. Jade Heller. Give them a hand, good job. All right, I'm not trying to hold you guys for too long. We have some baskets to give away to everybody. Grab your tickets, get them out, see if you're lucky.